Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. The life of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, from birth to prophethood. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, a messenger has come to you from among yourselves. Your suffering distresses him. He is deeply concerned for you and full of kindness and mercy toward the, the believers. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, followers, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. In the month of Rabi'ul Awwal of every year, we celebrate the blessed event of the birthday of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The birth of Prophet Muhammad marked the birth of a nation within every sense of the word. The universe was delighted for his birth. The universe was delighted for his birth. And the world good bright. The Prophet ﷺ speaks about himself saying, I'm the result of the invocation made to Allah from my father Ibrahim, and the good news that Jesus delivered. When my mother was pregnant with me, she had a dream in which she saw a light emanating from, the, from her that radiated the, pal the palaces of Basra in Sham. The poet said about the birth of Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Guidance was born. All living beings are lighted. The, mo the mouth of time is smelling and brazing. Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the best of the people on the earth in terms of his lineage. The Almighty Allah said about the lineage of our noble Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and your movement among the worshippers. Ibn Abbas comments on the verse saying, He descended from his fathers Adam, Noah, and Abraham, peace be upon them, until he was born a prophet, our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. A prophet said, Allah granted eminence to Kinana from among the, 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 the descents, from amongst the descents of Ismail, and he granted eminence to Quraysh, from amongst Kinana, and he granted eminence to Banu Hashim from amongst Quraysh, and he granted me eminence of them from the tribe of Banu Hashim. The Prophet وسلم, also said, Indeed, Allah created the creation and made me from the best of their categories, and the best of the two categories, Arab and non Arabs. Then he chose between the tribes and made me from the best tribe. Then he chose between the families and made me from the best family. So I'm the best of them in person and the best of them in house. Our beloved Prophet وسلم, grew up and as an orphan. His father died while he was fit. And when he was six years old, his mother died too. It was Allah the Almighty who guarded and raised him. The Almighty Allah said, Did he not find you an orphan and shelter you? The Almighty Allah also provided Prophet ﷺ with the causes of care when he was young. His grandfather, Abdul Muttalib, took care of him in the best manner. And after his grandfather, his uncle Abu Talib became his guardian and took responsibility of him and bade him the highest degree of respect. The life of our Prophet وسلم, before and after the mission was the best example of this decency. Greatness, greatness, and morality. The life of our Prophet وسلم, before and after the mission was the best example of decency, of greatness, and morality. He was the best person in his good manners, the best neighbor, the most truthful one, and the most modest human being. Speaking about himself, he, peace be upon him, said, I have never attempted anything means bad manner, 
that the people before Islam used to do. His wife Khadija described them saying, you keep good relations with your relatives, help the poor and the destitute, serve your guests generously and assist the calamity afflicted ones. Before his mission, our Prophet ﷺ gave us the best example in possessiveness, which is the bath of true believers. When peace be upon him, participated in some of the positive events of his society and shared with them their important issues. He, peace be upon him, had an influential participation in an alliance called Al-Fudul which aimed to supporting the oppressed, defending the truth, and promoting solidarity and cooperation, expressing his satisfaction, expressing his satisfic, sat, expressing his sat, satisfaction, expressing his satisfaction with this alliance. So promoting solidarity and cooperation, expressing his satisfaction with aliens. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said after his mission, if I were to be called for those aliens in Islam, I would have accepted it. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. The Prophet ﷺ participated with his people in the building and rehabilitation of the Kaaba. He was the one to judge among his people regarding who will receive the honor of carrying and putting the black stone in its place. They disagreed and disputed on this issue, but and finally agreed to accept the judgment of the first person to come on to come in, and that person was the Prophet ﷺ. Upon seeing him, they said, this is a faithful one, and we accept his judgment. The Prophet ﷺ said, bring me a piece of cloth, and then put the stone in the middle of it. He asked each tribe to hold the side of, of the cloth, and they all carried it. The blessed mission of the Prophet ﷺ was the culmination of him reaching the age of 40 to mark the beginning of a new era of humanity, in which it would learn about the highest principles and the most sublime value. The Almighty Allah said, Allah has been truly gracious to the believers in sending them a messenger from among their own, to recite His revelation to them, to make them grow in purity, and to teach them the scripture and wisdom before that they were clearly astray. Ja'far ibn Abu Talib said, We were plunged in the depth of ignorance and barbarism. We adored idols. We loved in unchastity. We ate the dead bodies. And the duties of hospitality and neighborhood were neglected. We knew no law but that of the strong, who when Allah raised among us a man of whose lineage, truthfulness, honesty, and purity we were aware, and he called to the oneness of Allah, and he taught us not to associate anything with him, he forbade us the worship of idols, and he enjoined us to speak the truth, to be faithful to our trusts, to be merciful and to regard the rights of neighbors and kinship. He forbade us to speak evil of women, or to eat the substance of an orphan, he ordered us flee from the vices and to abstain from evil, to offer prayers, to obey charity, and to observe fasting. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.